way do you want to start this? Uh, I think this is a running joke. This is like, <laughs> how are we going to start this? Hello oh, there, Internet. How's it going? Welcome to another video here, taking a little re reaction and a look at Batman vs. Superman Dawn of Justice. Uh, me and Will are going to sit down again and watch through a couple of the trailers, uh, specifically the most recent trailer that's been out. Um, which I haven't... I haven't seen the most recent trailer for this. I haven't, uh, the last one I watched was the villain reveal trailer. Well, the most recent trailer that's out in the world at the minute is international, but it's a Korean one. So right. there's subtitles and there's a bit of language on it, but it's still a trailer. It's probably been re-released now officially, seeing that the, that one's been leaked or it's been picked up on. So I'm assuming that was actually like a cinema release uh, trailer, was it of some sort? No, it seemed like it was... It kind of looked like it was off TV. Okay, it so it wasn't not, great. Yeah, but, so TV, that's the one thing I always have about movies, uh, trailers, because you know, like official trailers, like the, the Super Bowl release trailers, those kind of ones are like, yeah, really, yeah. Like, they're ones that everybody's going to probably see at some point. TV spots tend to have odder selections of scenes because of uh, TV laws and areas where you can't show like somebody punching somebody else in the face at before 12 noon. So they have to actually edit and work the trailers, the TV spots around them. Uh, the ones I don't like definitely are the ones that actually have uh, scenes that are like almost irrelevant to the main plot, just like just showing like scenes of buildings falling in the background, that kind of stuff. Like, they I just... don't mind that. They they sort of pat out in thrillers, so it's like oh destruction that sort of thing. So it's eh, not too bad. It's not too bad. So this is a that's right. So this one here we've got is the two minute thirteen official final trailer. Oh, okay. So do we're gonna go with this one? We we'll go with that one. All right. So um. Oh, right. No, I've seen this. Like, still a minute that it has from this. I've already seen this one. So um, hang on. One thing I actually realized that I didn't do whenever we started recording this. Um, yeah. Hold with us for a second, folks. I'll do some magic in the background. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, you have to do some magic because um, I forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well, fair enough. I mean, hey, I can, hey, I can talk about. Who it. said can... we were being professionals? No one said this was going to be professional. You know, not, <laughs> not until we're like sponsored and we have like duty of care towards our sponsor. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> or something. You know, if we get a care. sponsor, we get a sponsor. You, you've obviously not seen any internet videos that are actually are sponsored. They have very little duty to care for no. any sponsors. No. My personal favorites are some of the ones that actually just insult the bird brand that they're actually <laughs> flat out marketing for. It's like we fucking hate X. Check out X because we fucking hate them. <laughs> hey, they good. Hey, bad publicity is just as good as good publicity. As long as people are talking about you, yeah, pretty counts. much. <laughs> That's how it works. Well, speaking of things that everybody's been talking about, the Batman, like, Batman v Superman is what it's been at least the first last proper first trailer and announcement stuff was about ten months, twelve months ago, wasn't? So yeah, it's literally been a year building up to this week coming. Yeah, I mean the newest one was on Jimmy Kimmel Live a couple of months ago. Yeah. Um, well, and even then, that's that's that is about three or four months ago. Uh, well, no, the Jimmy Kimmel, like he actually had a sketch or a deleted scene well, this... on like about I think it was actually probably about like three weeks ago. But that's that, that those sketches and stuff is just because it's leading up to the actual release. So we're actually going to go with um, Batman vs Superman: Dawn of Justice official final trailer. Yeah. All right, let's rock and roll with this. Not even sure if I've seen this one. Master Wire. Jeremy Irons. Holy Toledo, somebody had fun. <laughs> I'm the, forever to me, he is Simon. He is Simon, yeah. Die Hard Trey with a vengeance. I have a friend who actually got a scar from Scar. He got a scar when they were making High Rise. He was actually working on it as uh, one of the extras. Alright, cool. Yeah, Jeremy Irons. Oh, no, I, have, I haven't seen this at all. You haven't seen this trailer no, at all? No, because I've not seen this amount of fighting in it. In any of the trailers? Well, this is actually pretty bad. This is exactly what I wanted to see in Batman fucking fighting. No, it's just wrecking house. Oh, that guy. guy's He's dead. buried a guy's head in the floor. What the fuck happened to that guy's head? Buried it? He buried his <laughs> neck in the floor? His, his head's still above it? He calls out the ostrich punch. <laughs> oh, is this the fight? Is this the... Uh... That's a Zod fight from the previous movie. Like, so it's actually... From like... a different angle. Yeah, well, that's the whole point. It's uh, Bruce Wayne what witnessed it. Well, it also implies Bruce Wayne was in Metropolis rather than Gotham. Well, you know, he's a billionaire philanthropist. Philan he's got a, he's got Philan a, no, a philanderer. That's what yeah, he is. Yeah, a yeah. billion dollar philanderer. He's got a bang woman in every different city. Yeah. Including that one. <laughs> yep. Oh, well, I don't think he's going to tap Lois He's later. going to tap Lois. He'll, he'll attempt <laughs> to tap Lois. Here we go. Yeah, that... Through the buildings. Oh, sex in a tub. Yeah. Sex with Lois in a tub. There's a... Uh, Wonder Woman, yeah, nice yeah. red dress there. Bang, 
Ba -dum -da -dum, da -dum -da -dum. See, no, you haven't, Bruce. This, yeah. you haven't, you don't know, you don't know any woman like her. Yeah, that's true. Well, actually, he does. Tally Al Ghul, um, Katana, uh, 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 no, Zatanna. within within the realm of what we're watching. I mean. Will he have that background? And well, I mean, the implication is that he actually is like there's other me metas in this because Cyborg and Aquaman and all that kind of shit as well. Because they're setting this up for Justice League. Yeah. See, look, that punch, block. he's like, whoa, he blocked. Wait, what? Well, I think there's got to be some kryptonite knocking about here somewhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, if it was kryptonite, it would be fucking him up with or, so much more. Like, or, or at the very least, the suit that he's smacking Superman around with is built with the same metal from Zod's ship. Because in one of the other trailers you see fucking um, Lex Luthor there uh, knocking about with Zod's body. Mm -hmm. So he has to... There's got to be some sort of give and take here because he really couldn't do much. He didn't really do much damage to Zod's ship yeah, well, when he was in it. Yeah, well, I mean, uh, the implication is that... Um, well, it's also because he's like almost semi depowered as well because of the atmosphere thing in it. Yeah, the, didn't like that. I think they... I think, honestly, the tech, the alien tech, the Kryptonian tech mm. is what evens the score in this. Would have to. I mean, Wayne, Wayne already has unbelievably high-end tech for being Batman because it's essentially Wayne Industries. But Wayne Industries had access to Kryptonian hardware after the battles and stuff. But, uh, the way this looks like, it looks like it's very, very much like probably a couple of years since Zod. Would make sense. I mean, like... It's been a, like a couple to not, few. Not in this trailer, but one of the other trailers where it shows uh, them slowly lighting up a uh, Superman statue where it's like not a real god or false god or whatever yeah, yeah. Is sprayed on it and um, you know that would take time some of the buildings have been rebuilt for god's sake so yeah, even, if is, even, recovered, if, like? even if Superman was helping out it's got to be sometime after that sometime since then yeah so it just comes down to fuck I don't know what it comes down to I think, like I, think it's, I think it's almost like the timeline for this is not quite a generational gap but mm. it's almost like five to seven years that's what, like in my head. Well, that, that's what it seems like the timeline for this is. Even if that's not the timeline, how long ago was uh, fucking Man of Steel? Man of Steel was three years ago. So even within that time frame, uh, it's yeah, still... I yeah, I don't know. Three, three years is three years, but uh, it's just the fact for the for, do you know, like they're actually going to set up Suicide Squad and this and all the events that happened in the rest of the this WB universe. It feels like this. Uh, well, I mean, this is something that you might not be aware of because of the comics of it. Sure. But um, do you know you know what New Fifty Two is? Uh, it's it was there re it was something to do with the recanon a lot of the sort of worlds of the comics into yeah. so so they kind of like brought it into like one new context like yeah actually, like a, a new reboot yeah and well, I mean that's what they've got they've they've had that in the Arrow and the Flash mainly the Flash where mm -hmm. they had like you know this will take into different worlds and you know alternative realities you know and they're actually they're playing this multiverse that actually happened in the new yeah. 52 they took the multiverse and collapsed it back in again so that all these different stories that may have happened had to some of them had to have happened some of them mightn't have happened so they kind of like re, like said they just went through and just went keep take keep 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 drop keep drop change slightly and they just went through a lot of histories and changed a bunch of things so in the new 52 basically from my understanding is that majority of all the things that ever happened in DC comics yeah. happened in the last five years okay so that's a kind of you know you kind of like the 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 seventy five year history is actually five years altogether with a lot of stuff from the previous generations kind of like chopped away or whatever. Yeah. I mean, the, the characters like uh, the original Flash and stuff still happened 30, 40 years ago in the past, but the main kind of like canonical stuff that happened to Batman, to Superman, those kind of characters, all have within the it's, last five years. It's a lot that you know if you're not. An, I mean, because this film is obviously for everyone that's watched Batman and Superman over the years, yeah, separately or together, be it from. Like the old animated Batman cartoon show is what I was what I grew up on. It's on Bruce stuff on ATV or UTV or whatever the hell it was on. Mm. Um, that that's that's what I grew up on. That's where my my love for Batman came from. So, unfortunately, my love for Superman came from like <laughs> Lewis and Clark, Dean Cain stuff. Hey, no, like, don't so, don't dis I, Dean I, Cain. I, I, Dean, Cain, Dean Cain is a fantastic actor in Christian. Uh, romance movies, now. Mm, but yes. uh, he was amazing. He was like, a, like all those old Lois and Clay car cartoon, like the anime, sorry, not the live action Superman shows, the new adventure Superman was very enjoyable at the time. Yeah, but um, all those versions, all the like, all, even those versions, all kind of like combined together, kind of like to make a rewritten kind of version of it. That's what I feel like this is trying to do with the Batman story, like how, how to introduce it. because there's. 
The Dark Knight Rises and all those movies don't have an effect on this. Like that, there's, people there's are going to look no at this, way. go like, how, how does this continue on from uh, Christian Bale leaving the city and all? Like, no, it doesn't matter. Like, none <laughs> did, of that fucking did matters. He, didn't he? Didn't he move into a cafe in Paris or something? Yeah, yeah. You know? all, all that stuff you have to <laughs> let slide. You have to walk away from and just accept that this is a new Batman, a new version of it, the same as well, we had from Michael Keaton to. Uh, if you wanted to do it, if you wanted to do that, you could turn around and say, "Well, the Dark Knight and all was an alternative world." You know that world exists. It's one of the multiverse. It's yeah. one of the multiverse. You could do it with the Keaton one too. It's like that happened in the eighties or the early nineties, and we just don't know what's happened since then in that multiverse or in that universe or that There's multiverse. Been people whatever. petitioning and kind of asking about uh, a movie called uh, a Batman Beyond movie. You ever, you ever, you remember Batman Beyond the animated show? Yeah, so Michael Ke- Michael Keaton playing the old Batman from Batman Beyond. He'd be knocking about in his, what, six days later? Yeah, he would, and that's the thing, he would, he would, look, he, he would he, look so the part as well. Would, yeah. uh, especially after watching Birdman. Oh, yeah. I, I actually quite enjoyed Birdman. Um, I thought Keaton was brilliant in it. Mm-hmm. But then again, I thought Keaton was great in the, the uh, Lindsay Lohan Love Bug film. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, but I mean, just stop, 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 stop to right. cro- cropping the name of Michael Keaton, man. No, that's that's not right. The, um... We'll get, get Jack the, Frost? I don't know. Yeah. Yep. Let's get Is back, to, Tom. Let's get back yeah, to Tom and Batman enough. versus Superman. We're going to throw this trailer back on again, and we're actually going to pause it in a couple of wee spots just to see what we, uh, we'll see what we can see that we, that we didn't talk over previously. So they, yeah. you, you shout, shout for pauses as sure. you need them. I will say this: this Superman's a different Superman because he fucking broke Sod's neck. Yeah, uh, yeah, he was essentially forced into it, so it's kind of like the, the most hard decision he had to make. What do you think of the the new Alfred? New yeah, Alfred. I never really give a crap about Alfred. You even, even oh, Michael Keaton. Pennyworth is one of the most important characters of the Batman mythos. I mean, like, how, the, the kind of guy who's going to sit there and take care and treat the wounds and heal a motherfucker that does this shit to himself <laughs> on a daily basis. <laughs> we're, we're, you know, fair enough, right? Okay, in that context of things. But in this context of things, he's just sort of there as a, you know, oh... You, uh, essentially, the like, uh, moralizing kind of thing. Pretty much, he's there, you know. Uh, now, you shouldn't seen, do that, but what, I'm not going to stop you from doing it. From what it. I've seen so far, Jeremy, like he, Jeremy Irons is actually piloting the Batwing in this. In this shot. That's him piloting the Batwing. Are you sure? Hey, rewind it back, look. Oh, he's not wearing a suit. Oh, it, okay. It's, it, it's, uh, Jeremy Irons is piloting the Batwing, and Batman jumps out of it and <laughs> runs off when he just sits there hovering away. Yeah, so, but he could only be... He, that would only make... That's going to be weird. That's going to be the wrong way around because he'd only pilot that thing to give Batman support because you can't fight someone and also try to figure out, make sure that the, you know, he's just... It doesn't what? crash land in the middle crash of the land in the middle of the fucking background <laughs> somewhere. It's like, aha, I will defeat you 10 guys <laughs> by... <laughs> All right, because essentially oh. there's not, not going to be any secrets from a crash bat plane. Yeah. But yeah, the, the, you, you know, know what? Jeremy actually, Irons is an active a, active support in this. I mean, it's like he's more than Michael Caine. Michael Caine was actually like a father figure. Meanwhile, this one's almost like a less father figure, more kind of like cohort. Cohort. Se- you know what I say? Sidekick? Uh, 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 he's, the, he's, the, he's the human embodiment of an actual Jarvis. Yes. Yep. Yeah, literally. The, uh, the Jarvis. <laughs> he has a voice for it as well. Yeah. But um, because a lot of some of the versions, oh, he would have made a good Jarvis actually. Yeah, it would have made a good Jarvis. No, maybe not a good vision. It'd be maybe you know that we now that we know now that we actually have maybe a vision. We have his vision. Yeah, he was in, but he's actually just he's just very cool in English anyway. Mm. <laughs> he's a, he's a, he's a cool <laughs> English. That's what you want for it. That's all you need for. Uh, that's all you need for vision. Uh, for Alfred Pennyworth <laughs> in this version, uh, in my head, he's he's kind of like the uh, you've watched Gotham the TV series. Which, I have not. Okay, Alfred Pennyworth in it is a badass. Aye, cause he's much younger and all because he's you know. much younger and but it's it's much younger but he's all not just a he's just a badass he's he's fucking military trained badass like people show up to the house at one point and he breaks some fucking arms like breaks knees grab gun shoots him in the chest and then picks up the gun and runs to the next room to protect Mister Wayne or uh, Master Wayne. It's kind of like uh, you know I'll go back to another show here mm-hmm. and a very English show as well Sherlock. Yep, it's kind of like it's kind of like that. That uh, Watson he's, he's, would he's, be his Alfred. In this case, or Alfred would be yeah. Watson. That's what I'm actually saying. This is this is actually a Sherlock and Watson situation rather than actually his dad, like his father figure and replacement. Yeah. He actually his, his this version of Alfred is a Watson. He's uh, he's the muscle. He's a he's a muscle who raised him essentially. Sure, you know what? Even I was I wouldn't say it's sort of alluded the to. Person trying to trying to trying to trying to remember correctly is the, the Alfred and even the other Batman films. You know, even with Supergirl, or not Supergirl, even with uh, Bad Girl, you know, I'm pretty sure he punched or fought maybe. The really old, old dude? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, yeah. Hey, old man. 
Oh shit! I didn't well, they, him in, to... the thing is implied in the story of it that he was actually an adventurer in his own right mm. whenever he was younger, because that's actually where his uh, because it was his niece was being played by what do you call her playing the Batgirl and that it wasn't the commissioner's yeah, it daughter wasn't commissioner, no. a, in, the, in those movies it was actually Alfred's niece but it was I was greatly alluded to because he was second Alicia man. Silverstone apparently was English with no English accent whatsoever <laughs> but the um, it, it, it kind of shows I pictures think, I don't think anyone would have made it but it shows pictures <laughs> of um, Alfred actually like on Alvin hunts and that kind of thing like, yeah. uh, he was actually he was an old soldier just but that's like, he, like that kind of implies a background history. That, Hence it's a badass it, you've got in Gotham. Yeah, that's the implication. Like all all these times they've been badass. He actually this time it's he's actively participating because Jeremy Iron is no matter what age he is still can he still looks like a bit of a he still looks like he's a pretty handy dude. Oh yeah, <laughs> he's like doesn't matter. He's he's he's, uh, <laughs> he's in that same vein as a uh, the character from Taken that Liam Neeson plays. He's like, oh yeah, I've been training oh. a set of skills. Kind now of that there that that I would like to see is Jeremy Irons. His next role, next role is a Taken sort of because they've they done they did that with Sean Penn there recently and they did it with uh, Kevin Costner in Three Days to Die. Ah, so essentially like that uh, aging action hero kind of thing. Hmm. Well, because Stallone's do, uh, no, no, not Stallone. Um, fucking, no, uh, God, what do you call him? Um, fucking Saturday Night Fever, Travolta. Travolta, yeah. Travolta's got one of those coming out now in the next week, in the next couple of months as well. Like I said, you like that that aging action. Like I like said, you going. To, everybody gets their last turn. Everybody gets one more turn, and if it works out, you get a series. <laughs> well, probably guess uh, if we're going for that, then Steven Seagal must be on his fiftieth last. Yeah, turn no, or they, something. Uh, he's on his fiftieth win, man. He's <laughs> he's he has done it so many. I watched one with him and um, Vinny Jones there the other day, and it was terrible. Oh, so so bad. So bad. It was but, like a lot of crash zooms. But, we're back. We're gonna, we're gonna go back to <laughs> we the. Were, uh, we're we're we went off in our then. ramble there. We go back to the. We go back to the trailer. So we look at this. He's playing, playing the Batwing. Yeah, Batwing man. That's what you're gonna call. Look it. at the made of hostels there too. Yeah. Actually, I'm, see the thing is, we don't you don't really get to see the design of it. Otherwise, as well, you see that the Batwing's kind of got that like uh, gapped uh, edge to it. It almost it looks like the Bat logo with the actual circle around the outside of it. Well, I've seen the toys. Uh, so that's what? is it kind of like it's almost like it looks like a sure like a punching blade just mm. with a, an engine in it is that what it looks like pretty much because the Batwing from I didn't like the Batwing from uh, Dark Knight oh, sorry not Dark Knight the from Dark Knight Rises I didn't, I, the, yeah, the Batwing from it, it was just weird. but then it was barely in it Ah right, well it's just the fact that it ended up uh, saved Catwoman and then you see that one scene where it flies off and it actually saves the day at the very end it's pretty fucking predominant in it. yeah oh yeah well uh, you should have well what I'm thinking of what am I fucking thinking of you thinking of the bat cycle <laughs> <laughs> well yeah the bat cycle the tumbler was a lot less than that as well because there was actually the replacement tumbler yeah so yeah like, this, this, uh, this is actually like the predator kind of attacks and stuff from um, the Batman Arkham Asylum games and stuff just comes in and wrecks house like as many guys as they can before the fight even really starts but he's just, he looks so big! I think we need to slow it down and go, he's dead, he's dead, he's dead. Yeah. He's gonna, he's gonna, <laughs> he's gonna, you know, sort of crawl away. <laughs> he, he, he's, uh, no, he's paralyzed for life. Oh, he, he's got no legs left. But he, he, Batman's so big! He's big! <laughs> he didn't skip leg day. <laughs> he didn't skip neck day! <laughs> like, seriously? <laughs> but they, this is actually a big think, fucking angry looking Batman I think that was one of the things did, did Affleck not say he had issues like maybe looking or am I thinking no I know Michael Keaton did had issues turning his head in the costume yeah. well that was the reason why they redesigned the Batman costume for Dark Knight mm. uh, because essentially they, they even the cowl from the first Batman Begins he still had to do the shoulder turn Every, every Batman since Michael Keaton shoulder turned because <laughs> like they couldn't turn their head because the cowl was one piece so they, whenever they created that that the platen where it actually moved properly, that allowed Bruce, Christian Bale to actually look around. Which is a great move, great idea. I mean, yeah. it, it made his the armored design kind of more popular as well. You got the world to die young, not for lack of trying. <laughs> See, that's withering Jeremy Irons is perfect. See, it seems like he's been doing it for a while now. Yeah, he's just tired of listening to Bruce's shit. <laughs> There's Superman crashing around with Zod. Or See, there. All right, see this. Day of the Dead. The Day of the Dead, but with him um, actually like um, Cinco de Mayo. No, no, <laughs> Cinco de Mayo. De los Muertos. <laughs> Wrong type of year. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, the Day of the Dead. Like essentially, all the, this whole worship of Superman. Mm. I and mean, what do you think? I mean, what what side I, are you on? Are you on like if this was actually a fight versus versus like a soups or bats? Normally, I'd be on Batman's side, but since Man of Steel, within the context of what this is, I'm on Superman's side because. He'll break your fucking neck when he needs to. 
you you know, been playing, you've been playing too much Injustice lately, man. I <laughs> that's, a, that's what your problem is. You just got to just a that he, but it, you, he's going to win in Injustice. Also, the fact that you won't play as any other fucking character. Well, fair enough, fair enough. But uh, even you know, going back to the toys that are out for this, uh-huh. uh, like the you can get like a, a Batman fucking uh, voice changer, hel- voice changer, voice changer uh, helmet. And um, I think one of the demo things is like, oh, I can defeat your heat vision or shit. Fuck off. No, you can't. Uh, if you wanted to, if Superman really wanted to, that heat vision would cut through him like butter. Uh, Slice his uh, goddamn arm off. Uh, <laughs> but again, we'll go back to maybe it's Kryptonian body steel. armor. Is it Kryptonian steel? Kryptonian steel. It's like Valerian steel. Nothing can beat it. Mm, but yeah, the, I, I let, the entire idea, all of his armor and his equipment actually being built out of the leftovers of all the ships and stuff that crashed. I mean, now, can you imagine the advances of technology that would happen just with that? Oh, yeah. Also, that scene there's got to allude to a bit of the Joker a little bit. A <laughs> little bit. That'd be pretty fucking funny. Be funny. He was in the background somewhere. All right, see this bit here. He just like slide in. First, <laughs> you see what he did? Yeah, Superman he's... just puts his foot to the front of the car and just fucks it across the road. <laughs> he's like, bah! and now your car's fucked. Because what happens next? Hey, <laughs> clip. See that, that just shows like the power of the character. Like I mean, like, that's what that's why unmatched Batman is to Superman. Like he's like comes by sliding into the back car and it just fucking bounces off, bounces off his foot. Uh, they are fighting Gotham. I see on the. You can see. Did you see a background that was Gotham City? No, no, no. On the uh, they look like um, fuel tanks or petrol pumps or whatever. It mm-hmm. did say. Uh, it had Gotham on it. All right. So cool. Superman has flew over to Gotham here. Uh, Superman's gone to Gotham. It must be a hell of a suit to survive going See, through a building as well. Oh yeah, well, pff, uh, they essentially power suits are going to be like that. But that the fact that Superman goes to Gotham and Batman doesn't go to Metropolis, it makes sense with the car anyway. But mm. it implies that Superman starts hunting Batman, which is kind of weird. But then again, that could be for any number of reasons. I mean, like there's Lois Lane with Lex Luthor being all creepy, weird, and you know. Uh, so being maybe Lex. maybe yeah, being Lex, I suppose. Maybe so maybe Lex is, is forcing Superman to go for Batman for some reason. Yeah. Like that it catches the bullet just. No need to was do it. Too. Wasn't it? I see. No, 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 that was that shot there of the of the boot. Did you see it? Yeah, it was and the, like, the ball bearings on the sole of the fucking boot. Ah, uh, I need it's near gonna be near impossible to get a shot of that. Ah, be alright. Yeah, no, I want to see if I can get a shot of that because, like, that looks fucking badass. I just, just said solder a bunch of metal to the sole of your foot <laughs> just so you can kick this guy that little bit harder. Batman rollerblades. <laughs> yeah, it's a bullet. He catches a bullet. He catches yeah. someone's bullet. Boom. There we go. That's as close as you're going to yeah, get. Yeah, that's as close as I'm going to get with the motion blur that's on it. But yeah, like, that, that's a fucking, that's, that's, a, that's actually like a tank tread on the sole of his fucking foot boot. I, I like the idea because he's something about it Superman never throws kicks do you ever notice that never, Superman never throws a kick ever punch or grab or he always you know. uses his arms and punches and dives head first towards people he doesn't kick it's like Batman would we catch him off guard with like a roundhouse kick to the head well obviously he didn't because he caught it oh yeah <laughs> but see that explosion as well um, I think that leads into uh, story, the storyline with uh, Doomsday and uh, Zod and the creation he makes well in another trailer no, Wonder see. Woman who's on the screen right now oh. is just she well it implies that she deflects something uh, well, she did, that she did, what that explosion yeah it looks like she deflects, it deflects heat vision and it wasn't Superman's heat vision and the only other person who would have heat vision is Zod, Zod. and the only other creature they've shown that has eyes glowing was that kind of like blockbuster, blockbuster slash doomsday esque looking character Slash fucking uh, dark side. No, what do you call it? From the Incredible Hulk film, Edward Norton. Um, <laughs> oh, the abomination. The abomination. It, yeah, it just it is essentially abomination. It does. Uh, kinda... Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, Doomsday does look like the abomination. He, yeah, and he's a creature. Like, that's the reason why I thought. In my head, I think blockbuster because it's a genetically modified creature. Mm. But um, yeah, oh, we went too far there. So we'll go back to this. Hmm. There's no woman. There's no woman like her, Bruce. <laughs> Wait, 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 pause. Oh, it's too late. What was it? I was going to say, what the fuck? What's that in the background? We'll find out now. We, have to, we can rewind it back as many times as we require to actually see what we need to see. Because I'm super like... Oh, no, keep going. There. What is that? Is that, uh, <laughs> is that 
a Superman or not a Superman? Is that a Batman bust? It's got one arm. Oh wait, no. You've seen the videos in other uh, in other ones of this where it actually has the Robin cost or the the actual Robin statue with like ha 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 jokes on you written on the chest piece of it. Oh yeah, I've seen that. Was it Robin? You sure it wasn't? I, it was a Robin. Co- I'm almost sure it was a Robin suit, not a Batman suit. Hmm. Well, that's gonna be interesting too, because like Robin's not in this. In this. Yeah. I mean, essentially, I I think there's a implication about Robin and uh, Batman and Joker's history, like death in the family actually happened. Was it death in the family? Mm. I think it was death in the family. Um, wait, so for, for your context, how many Robins is there? Oh God. Uh. Do, 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 do. Well, there's Chris O'Donnell. I know. I mean, do, do you know? Do you know? Uh, multiple I know. Characters? I know. I know. One of the Robins became Nightwing, yeah, so. and then another Robin became like a Batman at one stage. Um, and I know just Joseph Gordon Levitt's not gonna be Robin because that's a different <laughs> continuity. But um, it's been like okay. maybe six of them. Uh, uh, well, yeah, actually, well, that's actually a good note. That's actually nearly right. <laughs> because if you include the ones from Dark Knight Rises, the girl, and then the girl who actually dressed up as Robin for a while, who ended up becoming spoiler, there actually is six. Um, <laughs> but they um, not too, not too bad. Not but the, the the traditional draw Robins is the one that became Nightwing, Dick Grayson. Mm-hmm. Um, he started. He was the first Robin. He left Batman and became Nightwing on his own accord. Oh yeah. Then there was uh, one for a short period of time called Jason Todd, and Jason Todd was the one that got voted off the island reality TV style via phone votes in the 1980s and got beaten to death Jesus Christ and then exploded by the Joker wow yeah not murdered just exploded uh, yeah they, they, well he, they, mur- he exploded him till he died from it yeah no well essentially what happened uh, the Joker kidnapped Robin yep uh, took him to a remote location and beat him with a um, don't say crowbar yes it was a crowbar sake. beat him with a crowbar for days Fuck you, Justice. You've <laughs> seen Justice Joker. game. Ah, oh, the Joker with a crowbar. It's a fucking That's the reason bastard. why I laugh my ass off whenever you're getting annoyed about it, because that, it's like, there's actually a bit in it whenever he says, Oh, I wonder if this Robin actually likes crowbars too. <laughs> Prick. The, um... <laughs> the, I do, I mean, the, I mean the Joker. He be, it beats, it beats a crap out of Robin with a crowbar. Uh, Batman's racing into the building to save him, and he doesn't make it in time, the building explodes, and he finds the beaten and battered and dead body of Robin in the rubble. Oh. Is that sort of where they took that for, like, the Heath Ledger and Two-Face and, and the Bur- yeah, Harvey the, Dent? Uh, and Harvey Dent and the exploding building and he doesn't make it on time. Yeah, they, they, they essentially did that with somebody that wasn't Robin. Huh. You know, they kind of like had that similar idea, like holding the city to ransom kind of thing. Um, which works really well. Like, actually, that's the Joker's MO, kind of like, just say, say create a trap that cannot be soft or un- un- undone. Undone. Um, Superman, so, Superman could have done it. Yeah, exactly. He has done it. Dean Cain. I remember he had to be in two places once, and he flew up and had lasers and deflected his heat vision to and the turned, two turned, bombs. Took out the two bombs in one <laughs> shot. Bombs in Just one holding the prism out in front of himself. <laughs> Made a rainbow out of the third way out of it. <laughs> Yeah, okay. it's like that was. Hi, there was a third unintended target. It just, you know, it was an orphanage shoot. It would be funny if it would actually be like the scene from Real Geniuses where the laser goes out and actually tur- it like erupts in popcorn that blows up a house. Um, I'll show you that movie sometime. It's fucking hilarious. It actually had Val Kilmer in it before he did a Batman. Oh boy, <laughs> the, the early Val Kilmer. <laughs> it, it's whatever Val Kilmer actually had looked like. He had a lot of talent. And um, when he was a lot thinner. <laughs> yeah, he's a teenage boy. He probably yep. did. Um. So yeah, that Jason Todd, um, that's the one that I imagine would be the Robin that they were playing ha 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 jokes on you and killed the Robin. Sure. That's in this context of this, this could be what they mean by the, like that's the storyline in the background of Batman's history, that one of the Robins, or the, the only Robin that there was in this world, sure. was attacked and killed and injured by the uh, by the Joker. Because of course you know he's making a crossover with the Suicide Squad movie. Yeah, so he's I mean he's already filmed, he's he's filmed the scenes, there's scenes out there where you see, uh, you see, you see um, Batman ch- on the rooftop of a car. Of the car. So I guess, and that's, and that's, no, it would be. It wouldn't be in Metropolis. It'd still be in Gotham, possibly, or maybe somewhere else. Maybe um, a third location. Yeah, essentially, like it doesn't matter when it is or where it is. It, it, in fact, it could be a flashback to history kind of thing. It's, a, it's just a scene that has Batman in it. Yeah, because it's a different costume as well. It's not the robot Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, uh, it's a, it could be an earlier one. <laughs> yeah, the robot Iron Man. <laughs> so yeah, what do you think of her in the Wonder Woman costume? What I think one, I think the costume's awesome. It was, there was a lot of talk about that, and you know which version of the we gonna go for are we gonna go for PC looking Wonder Woman we're gonna stick yeah. with traditional Wonder Woman but they've gone for a very gladiator yeah I'm so glad they did woman you know more because she was or is a great goddess well she's the daughter of Hippolyta 
So, so she's green. she's she like she she was like literally molded from clay and had her life breathed into her by Ares and Hippolyta. So yeah, she's a, she's a, she's a demigod. Fair enough. Um, so she, I, she's a, ostensibly like she's a female Hercules, you know that kind of thing. Yeah. Who should be also able to defeat Batman no baller? She's yeah, just, oh, you know, exactly. Yeah. Just just flirt with him and then in the middle of sex, snap his neck. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of neck snapping going on. Is, is it essentially after playing Hitman that you just want to be doing a lot of neck snapping? I uh, yeah, pretty much. Mm. I mean, that's that's what we're going for. But yeah, I, um, essentially, I don't see her doing that. They don't see, see them doing the whole lasso of truth and throwing her tiara to fucking attack enemies and stuff. Yeah, I mean, I can looking at this, I can't imagine a tiara is going to come off at all. Yeah, not, 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 not even just in this film, but her, even her own standalone film, which looks good too, mm. with uh, Chris Pine's in that. Yep. He said, yeah, I think he's playing the Air Air Force pilot that um, she kind of has a thing for her, isn't she? I think so. Wait, he may may make him. Oh, wait, have they already cast Green Lantern, haven't they? Uh, I don't know, possibly. Uh, Well, I mean, the Air Force pilot thing could actually be kind of funny if they actually, they had a crossover with the Air Force pilot from Wonder Woman actually being Hal Jordan who becomes Green Lantern. That'd be weird. But, um, hey, it's WB. They can do whatever the fuck they want. Pretty much. But, um, I I like the costume design. I actually like, um, I like how she looks now. I mean, admittedly, whenever I first saw it, I was going like, "Eh, she doesn't really look as powerful as everybody else. But Mm. I think the whole point of it is that she doesn't have, she's mystical in a way, so she doesn't really have to look as powerful. That that leap was impressive. You know, where she just jumps from there and she looks like she jumps about 100 well, well, probably more than 100 uh, feet. So it just leaps as like in a sword strike kind of thing. Yeah, pretty much. Like that there. Boom. Yeah, essentially, yeah. <laughs> just diving with a fucking sword shield. Yeah. Zack Snyder. Zack Snyder and Slow Mo go realized, together as just, heroes battle heroes. Just realized <laughs> he, he's not really. So yeah, that's the that's the thing you're talking about with the post-apocalyptic looking the, stuff. The desert, the Mad Max desert. Yeah, let's see if we can get a shot of that. Also, I can't help but say that Rob Schneider isn't related to Zack, Zack Schneider. Schneider. <laughs> it's a different spelling altogether, even. Shut up. Is there his? So yeah, what the fuck <laughs> is that about? Like, where is this? I mean, yeah. Oh, 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 oh uh, look at the the skyline. The fuck the skyline. And look at the Omega sign in the fucking dirt. Yeah. I never, I never even noticed that. Yeah, I don't that, think I've, I don't even think I've even seen anyone mention that yet. So I doubt that we're the first to do. It, but what the fuck is that about? And maybe it's upside down. Yeah. No, from from where we're looking, it's got to be that way. It's got to be like a warning, maybe. See, or... looking at this. All right. This gives me a thought in my head that this is War World, which is. Uh, and, and for the people at home what okay so war world um, <laughs> we just fight over here all the time yeah okay so essentially do you remember you've heard of a character called dark side before yep so essentially he's the the DC version of Thanos mm-hmm. um, seeing a scene like this and this world it feels like it's like a nightmare scene for Bruce Wayne I don't think this is actually going to be an actual place. I think this 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 looks like a nightmare scape with explosions and Metropolis and the city destroyed in the background. But with this Omega symbol in the center of the ground, it makes me think of Darkseid because uh, essentially, as far as I can remember, he calls his um, eye beam that he shoots the Omega beam. What a shit name. Yeah, well, it's, <laughs> it's the last thing anybody will ever see. <laughs> you know? The Omega Beam. Oh, thank God you're killing me with that because I don't want to hear it. That is I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear that phrase ever before gone. Yeah. But it's essentially like, um, I'm thinking about this whole thing, maybe like a whole thing about it, the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and end times. It, the, I imagine in my head, this is actually a dream sequence and uh, like a, a, a fevered nightmare from Bruce Wayne. Probably like in time. But okay. So I had this thought. Do you know why you see Bruce Wayne actually in Metropolis? See, no, no, it can't be. You know why it can't be a dream sequence? Because in a different thriller, it shows him in the same getup as Trapped in a there. bunker? In a bunker. Uh, he's like chained up and Superman, um, Superman saunders down and he's like, <laughs> such and such, so I can see you out the mask and he rips it off. And <gasps> it's it's Batfleck, you know, it's yeah. it's him. Because uh, he was in there with some little looking guys, but he didn't. All the didn't soldiers that look like they're in justice with the soldiers lined up the street. So oh no, like, no, not those guys, not the not the soldiers, the kill zone so- mm-hmm. soldiers. Yeah. And Superman comes down the tunnel. I mean, there's maybe three or four other people, um, handcuffed or tied up or whatever yeah. there was. Uh, when then Superman comes over, and takes it off. There. That's what makes me think it's a dream sequence. That's a hell of a fucking dream sequence. Or maybe, maybe, maybe it's a, maybe. Sh- 
shown something? Maybe could there be some way for him to be shown a this possible is future? What, this is a possible future. Yeah. That, that's that's it's quite a possible. I mean, a it's ima- wild vague. Imagine an example like this. Where, I mean, it's wild vivid. Well, so imagine something like this that they end up Wonder Woman looks at, lets it, lets Bruce look into a scrying pool of the future and ends up actually getting this vision of what could be if Superman continues on his path of becoming a, a god. Hmm. I mean, it's only a few days uh, this is out, and I've just realised all of that could happen. <laughs> Pardon me. Um, I just. Can't remember the runtime on this. About two and a half hours. Two and a half. Well, shit, that's right up there with uh, Civil War. Civil War is two hours and thirty minutes as mm-hmm. well. The, the, this is this is going to have a runtime of at least two hours ten, as far as I know. There's a lot to get in there, but especially with um, one of the scenes being, oh, who's that? As Bruce Wayne pulls up in his swanky looking car, non Batmobile. Yeah, that the Lex and... Luthor kind of dinner stuff. I mean, yeah, like, it, it feels like. It feels like there's going to be a lot of fights in this, and there's a lot of characters that need to be introduced. And the, if the Flash and Cyborg are still getting the fucking cameo, cameo in this, yeah, like, but that could be in like, oh, in Star City. Yeah, they know. literally like see a news report, like or like there's a crime scene, and Barry's actually just happens to be fucking uh, working a crime scene or something, or you just see a blue, blue and red flash, yellow and re- yellow and red flash run by, hmm. and Cyborg, you might actually get to see him talking to his father or him on the football field. Like that, that might be as simple of a context that they might actually have. Or you seeing him getting injured in Metropolis and being run to the hospital, and that's where they end up starting to do the surgery to turn him into cyborg. That they, they those kind of little things will be in it. That's why that's how little of an interest it is. Yeah. Um. And then in the case of Aquaman, literally they're probably <laughs> no. Do you know what they're probably going to do? Literally, he'll be the after the end of movie Sting, where they'll actually have him like rising from the sea and just walking out onto the beach of Metropolis or something. <laughs> sure, as fuck won't be in that desert scene anywhere. So. <laughs> exactly. That's what it's, <laughs> in the desert world. That's whenever Cal Drogo doesn't survive. Um, Aquaman, my garden. Could you help me out here, please? You know, I can summon water, I'm sure as well. But the um, they talking about this world. This I feel like is a dream sequence, especially with the the adapted kind of costume the Batman's wearing in it as well. Have you seen it? It's kind of like a trench coat with the hood and collar all still part it, of it. It sort of gives me a sort of huh, Batman's nineteen forties, but you know, sort of yeah, it, that. But yeah, the nineteen like a Batman noir. Mm, yeah, you know, um, the sinister looking Superman to glare at us. Yep. Going through the city. See, this is right. See the the whole uh, nightmare scenario. In my head, there's a possibility that whenever Bruce runs into the city or he's in Metropolis and this is happening, yep. he gets injured and knocked out for a while. Oh, he's like in a coma? Yeah, and he wakes up to a world where everybody loves Superman, but he's fucking going, Why does everybody love this fucker? He destroyed the city! Because he's actually a coma child, he's came out of it, and he's actually like, he hasn't had the context of all the other good he's done. All he's seen is this fucker showed up and destroyed a city, and now he's awoken again, and everybody's turned around and loved him. Yeah. That's you know what, see this this fairy scene right here where he's ru- and it's been shown in other trailers of of uh, this where you see you don't see them fighting but you see the buildings crashing in the background mm-hmm. and you see this big cloud of smoke coming down and fill through right, right, right towards as he runs through. it is extremely nine eleven yeah um but power can be an ascent yeah guitar riff shows that it's changing. Look at that! Yes, he's actually—he looks worried there. And he's got, <laughs> Are you imagine essentially a guy who who can punch through steel, literally for the first time ever, having somebody block a punch? <laughs> well, he fought Zod. Yeah, he didn't seem too. But the, the, the Zod that. didn't even block any of his punches. Zod just kind of like dodged him majority of the time. Just kind of like the same way that you see him in the fighting games. Like he has his arms behind his back and just like <laughs> gestures to knock things out of the way. But like to have it, first to, time that a mortal. Yeah. Somebody that's not actually from his own planet that has the exact same power set as him. He has actually like stood toe to toe with him. Like that's a, that's a good and that's a good worried look. I mean, they, it's one of the things I have to say for the guy. Uh, what do you call him? That plays. Um, oh my god. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you get lost. The problem is you lo- you get lost in the role, dude. That's the problem. You're very very good, but you get lost in the role of Clark Kent and Superman. But um, yeah. God damn. What is this fucking name? Dean Kent. Dean Kent. Dean Kent. <laughs> I see you know, fuck you you're making it worse so um yeah, it's just like to actually have him be able to I play a certain because I I, I, I I didn't really quite believe in Man of Steel whenever he did the no at the end whenever he actually like broke the dog's neck I didn't I didn't feel an emotional connection to that no moment. no mo- no there was like but I do have a minor moment of connection, uh, emotional connection to him looking worried like this like a furred bro like I've seen him angry in these trailers I've seen him concerned in these trailers I've seen him kind of like slightly miffed I, just, I, I'm, I think he's actually like fitting into the role better now than previously or we're just getting to see really good shots of him I mean Ben Affleck kind of is 
Ben Afflecking all over the place. So like we don't really care. I don't know. I mean, more and more that I see him as Batman, he it, it just he I think just, he's a really he good just Bruce. scream. He just it just suits him. I think maybe it's just the jawline and the the stubble. I think if that's what it is, we'll just. Cut off the rest of his face, yeah. Just use that. Yeah, but that's, that's I mean, that's where, anytime you see him as Batman, you see that stern jaw, and it works, and he's got a perfect jaw for it. In fact, uh, to be honest, I would almost cast him as Judge Dredd. <laughs> he's, like, he's got a good jaw for Dredd as well. Um, but uh, Campbell, whenever, but... whenever I see him outside, you yeah, know, that's, that's always been true. Um, if you see him outside of the skull, a cowl, whenever he's Bruce Wayne, he's got a really comfortable, natural smirk that kind of, like the uh, I am so fucking rich charm that a lot of people yeah. kind of like mistake for like, Oh, Bruce Wayne has to be very brooding. Not no, Bruce Wayne has to be the cheeriest fucking dude in the planet for nobody to question why he does what he does and disappears for when he does. Like he's like you have to have that for that. And then the moment the mask goes on, he's who he really you is. You know what? If you if you were to, because I'm trying to remember now, did we ever get the name of his character in Mallrats? Maybe he's just playing. <laughs> maybe he's just playing that character on up. That's uh, what's happened. To his character. Did he have a name? And the fa- the guy from Fashionable Meal. That's it. He's just Fashionable Meal. Yeah, I think he actually was just called Fashionable Meal, was he? Bruce Wayne, Fashionable Meal. <laughs> Bruce, that's literally that's actually a good title for him. That could work. Bruce Wayne, Fashionable Meal. That'll be that's that's actually, a, that would be the front page of Gotham newspaper for months. That'll be his uh, standalone. That'll be the standalone Batman Fashionable Meal. <laughs> he likes to fuck you in uncomfortable places. <laughs> oh, like in the back of a fucking Volkswagen or something. Do you know that was originally meant to be back of a tra- uh, trash compactor or back of a trash uh, like a garbage truck? <laughs> No, I yeah, it was like it was, it was like it was a weird choice, but it was originally meant to be back of a garbage truck, and then just went Volkswagen. I was like, <laughs> a lot of people have fucked in the back of Volkswagen. It's been reasonably comfortable. Okay, yeah, after yeah, back to the. <laughs> hey, what? It's actually cut that sort of wrestling thing to it too. It's like big high block, did big, big high and wide. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, I've seen it tons of times. You get the so rock. see it in the 3D. That's that's gonna be interesting. I don't like movies that are really dark in 3D. Thor: The Dark World literally by its fucking title was a terrible idea for me to go and see in 3D I didn't realise that film was out in 3D I mean uh, I it was a terrible probably should have guessed it was, it, was, it was a post conversion job but this is going to be a post conversion job I think as well because the movie's so dark I wouldn't see this in 3D I would go and see Civil War in 3D because it's going to be fairly bright and cheery all the way fucking through yep but I wouldn't go and see this in 3D no I, it's, it, I, also, I don't want to see, uh, w- <sighs> 3D certain I mean like you say the dark of the film in tone not by the actual tone of the content but the tone of the actual the visuals yeah. <laughs> yeah it's just pointless because see, it gets too muddy and it's too hard to see shit and the uh, motion blur drives everything to fucking be nothing because your glasses anyway are tinted, tinted. Yep. so you're I wouldn't say you're cutting down the, the colour half anyway but oh. you're you're still co- colouring it down I think how bad it was for me I was wearing blue tinted sunglasses uh, blue tinted glasses while wearing 3D glasses whenever I was watching movies and I was like I literally can see sweet fuck all I may as well just listen to an audio description by... I kind of wish I had, actually. <laughs> okay, so the, right, here's the thing. You've heard about this. No. Oh, yeah, well, you mentioned it earlier. The Batman v Superman supercut. All the trailers in chronological order. Cool. Which, as far as I've been sure, has been confirmed by people who have actually like seen the movie and press screens and whatever else, that this is the chronological order of all the material and content that we've seen so far. Sure. It's about ten minutes of the actual film. Fuck. Should we or should we not see this? Well, I don't know if we should do it with the ones viewing. I mean, yeah, I mean that. I'm thinking this is actually. Quite long. I think this might actually be like we'll do split this into a two parter. Mm. So we actually have this one where we've gone kind of gone through the trailer, given our ideas of what we think the movie's going to be like with all the content that we got from the most recent trailer. Yep. And we want to actually like sit down and then watch through this and see if any of it actually confirms what we've already thought. Or changes it completely, possibly. I mean, we're going to see more of those like uh, desert scenes yeah. and stuff because well, we'll that actually was really relevant. We'll see a ton more. So I mean, we'll leave that for the yeah. Part so two, part two, guys, we'll come back to us for uh, part two of the video where you get to sit down and watch the supercut of Batman v Superman with um, our commentary over the top of it, discussing like all the possibilities of what it could be, how it's relevant to past comics and anything else. And really, I've, I, one thing I really want to get into talking about is actually all the fights Superman and Batman have had in the past and how much this is literally. Just the fucking fight from Dark Knight, Re- Dark Knight Returns, just like put into a fucking movie. Like, I mean, I showed it, I showed it to you before we watched this. Yes. Or before we start talking, like how close this is going to be to the actual end movie that we're going to sit and watch, because this is obviously it's not going to be all Batman vs Superman. No. We're going to have the real big bad show up, but like that bit where they're essentially going up against each other, it could come down to just that. 
So guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been Pastiche of Skin. Uh, checking out the trailer for Batman vs Superman Dawn of Justice. I keep forgetting the full title of the movie. <laughs> Batman vs Superman, Dawn of Justice, uh, appearance of Wonder Woman slash uh, cameos by everybody else, Justice League Part 1 0 0.5 beta. Six and a half. I think that's actually the full title, isn't should it? Be, no, you're yeah. right. it, should be, it should be Batman vs Superman, uh, Dawn of 33 and a third, Naked Gun. <laughs> the Naked Gun 33 and a third? Yep. Like, probably like, who can we fit into this one? So, um, yeah, thanks very much guys for watching. We will see you in the next video. This has been... At Real Will Convey. Woo! And at Passage of Skin. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.